please subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos. I'm Sage for Calkine Media. Thanks for joining us on this educational series topic. What is UDAAP? UDAAPs refer to unfair, deceptive or abusive acts of practices committed by those who provide financial services and products to customers. And UDAAPs are considered illegal under the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act of 2010. Credit rating agencies, mortgage lenders and banks were among the financial institutions targeted by the Dodd-Frank Act, which was enacted in response to the 2008 economic crisis. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or CFPB, oversees developing UDAAP laws with the Federal Trade Commission, or FTC, assisting in their enforcement. Frequently Asked Questions Explain the term UDAAP. Unfair, deceptive or abusive acts and practices, UDAAP, can hurt consumers in various ways during financial transactions. Customers may also suffer substantial economic losses due to UDAAP, destabilizing the current financial system and undermining customer trust. Following the financial crisis of 2008, regulators enacted new rules to safeguard consumers and promote confidence in financial dealings. Among the numerous steps in that process has been defining and prohibiting UDAAPs. The global financial crisis of 2008 was the world's worst economic catastrophe since the Great Depression of 1929. And despite the efforts of the US Treasury Department and the Federal Reserve, it happened. The crisis has exposed the world to the Great Recession in which home prices collapsed even more than during the Great Depression. During the 2008 financial crisis, investors sold their stock of investment bank Bear Stearns because it possessed a vast quantity of hazardous assets. The economic crisis was so severe that the unemployment rate was still over 9% even two years after the recession ended. What role do member complaints play in recognising unfair, deceptive or abusive acts or practices? Member complaints aid in identifying unfair, deceptive or abusive acts and practices. They've proven to be a valuable source of information for regulators, inspections, enforcement and rulemaking. In addition, complaints from members may reveal faults in the credit union's compliance management system, such as monitoring, internal controls and training. Although the lack of complaints does not imply these activities, Complaints could be one indicator of UDAAP. And complaints indicating that members did not comprehend the terms of service or product, for instance, could be a red flag indicating that examiners should perform a thorough examination. Significantly, if several members raise identical complaints about the same service or product, Examiners shall consider complaints filed against third parties, affiliates and subsidiaries, but the services and goods provided by the credit union or in its name when assessing complaints against it is what those regulators will be looking for. In addition, examiners should evaluate if a credit union receives, reacts to and monitors complaints made against it or its affiliates, subsidiaries and third party agents. Complaints analysis. While a review of member complaints can aid in the detection of potentially unfair, deceptive or abusive acts and practices, examiners should analyse the context and consistency of complaints. Not every complaint implies a breach of the law. Examiners must flag the matter for further examination whenever members constantly complain about a credit union service or product. And furthermore, even a single substantial complaint could raise serious problems, necessitating a more thorough analysis. Complaints claiming inaccurate or misleading statements or missing disclosure data, for example, could signal a potential UDAAP that needs to be analysed. Relationship with other statutes. There's a possibility that a UDAAP will inadvertently breach state or federal laws 
Creditors, for instance, are obliged by the TILA to reveal expenditures and terms of credit clearly and conspicuously. A practice or act that is not following these TILA standards may be unfair, deceptive or abusive. And on the other hand, a technically compliant transaction with other state or federal regulations may nonetheless breach the UDAAP prohibition. For instance, an advertisement could adhere to TILA's requirements but include additional assertions that are deceptive or wrong. And TILA's revelation obligations do not protect the rest of the advertisement from the risk of being misleading. If you like the information, please like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos. For more information, regular updates, please head to the website calkinemedia.com. And this is Sage for Calkine Media.